but firstly, uh, I just want to know how you're doing personally. I mean, hanging in there, you know, you're finally getting outside, staying sane. How are you, how are you doing personally? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure talking to a lot of my alumni, I'm not sure they would class me as sane to start off with. So, you know, that's that's all good. Uh, but but no, it's been a very up and down summer. I mean, to be honest, some some weeks, some days have been extremely tough, extremely difficult. Um, you know, as, as everybody's been going through this crazy roller coaster of trying to figure out just, just day to day what is going on. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest adjustments I made was, was to try to not look too far ahead. Um, you know, I wasn't making any firm plans for pre-season or anything like that. I had some ideas rolling around in my head and I know I can bang it out real quick if I have to, but um, you know, I didn't want to put in a lot of useless effort if you like so um so you know but that also left me with a bit of more time on my hands that i'm used to so um you know trying to do some different things you know i've been uh, hitting my bike more than i ever have done before so i've been getting lots of 20 20 plus mile bike rides in so I'm trying to stay fit and healthy and um you know, just doing whatever, but, you know, after last Wednesday's meeting, when we actually got given some direction, you know, it, it's been great. You know, I, I, I feel good. Um, I feel happy about being able to organize, being able to plan, have a direction. I know it can change at any point, but um, I'm ready for that. I've been talking to my guys from, from day one about that. The most important thing is we've got to be flexible, agile, you know, adaptable, ready to adjust. Don't take anything as concrete. And every time we get to a bridge, we'll figure out a way to cross it. So, so no, no, so far so good. And hopefully, um, you know, it continues this way for quite a while now. How have the guys adjusted to, to the virtual life, the academics and taking the initiative to train on their own? I mean, do you have a way to keep tabs on them? Do, are you, do you trust them to, to do it on their own and keep improving and, and train themselves? hundred percent. You know, I, I, I trust my guys um, and I'm very excited about this group. You know, that's that's somewhat of the disappointment of not having a season, but there is a lot of um, good stuff to it as well. You know, because instead of us coming in and we basically have one week of preseason then a week with some scrimmages and we've got to figure things out in preseason over two weeks. You know, I'm looking at it, we basically have a six month preseason now. Um, so we can really take our time with things, um, you know, really change our emphasis and our focus on some things. Uh, going a little bit more in depth with things as, as well. Um, so, so no, tr trying to stay connected with them was, was 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 easy enough. You know, I didn't want to do too much because it's the summer, so we don't do that much anyway. It was just mm -hmm. every now and again, especially if there was important information, lots of emails just to stay on top of things, especially the last couple of weeks coming into preseason. But no, I, I trusted that they do the work. Um, you know, in their in their voices and communications with them, I, I think they did. Probably not as much as I would like, but hey, that's that's okay as long as they're doing something uh, that's the most important thing and we'll uh, we'll get everybody going now but um no i i think they're in a good place uh, yeah. right now that is the focus for us is the academic side of things um so we put some foundations in for that. And that's part of the reason I'm trying to touch base with everybody now. I touch base with all our new guys before they started classes. I touch base with them all on Monday night after they had their first round of classes. And, and I think everyone's in a really good place and, uh, and buying into what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, you mentioned the freshmen. Um, overall, how impactful were you expecting that class to be, first of all? And, and now do you think having this time, like you said, this extended preseason to adjust to college life and prepare for a potential spring. How valuable is that for them? I, I think it's going to be extremely valuable uh, because again, there's, there's less pressure right now. Uh, obviously there's less time pressure um, is one of the most important things. Uh, so we can offer a lot more support and guidance. And we've been talking about for several months about developing a community of learning uh, where everybody helps everybody out. We've had a, a mentor program over the summer. So every new guy um, had a, a returning mentor that was helping him out over the summer to get settled, take care of tasks, uh, be somebody to turn to and it was good to develop that relationship over the summer so now that they're um, onto campus and to a certain extent this first week you know yeah. they've, they've got somebody that they're comfortable with to turn around straight away well how do I do this on D2L who do I contact to do this you know they've got that initial relationship but now we can start to build even more relationships obviously the coach player relationship can build a lot more uh, that we can have some physical interaction once we get training and playing but now they can also build those relationships with uh, their own freshman class coming in as well as all the rest of the returners as well um, you know because that's something that we've talked about as well you know our objective is to get a really tight-knit team uh, and it's about building relationships and forging those relationships and 
while we're going through this extended preseason, it's also different with our evaluation process. You know, right now we're, we're evaluating who they are, not necessarily what type of player they are. And, and to us as a program, we've spent the last few years really working on um, solidifying our culture. We've, we kind of knew what it was, but we really honed it in with our core values of passion, discipline, and ambition. Um, you know, so I think it's a lot clearer. It's a lot more objective there and everybody understands where it's at. So we've been laying those foundations and, and talking about out. We want to find the right people. So you're being judged right now about who you are, how you take care of tasks, how you go about your business, you know, and it's probably 70, 30 of the assessment of, you know, who you are compared to your athletic ability. Because at the end of the day, if, if maybe you're not quite ready to really have an impact for us out on the field, we've got time to improve that. And if you're the right person, we will give you the benefit of doubt on the athletic side of things where it's harder to give players the, the benefit of the doubt is when they're the wrong person. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so that's the big thing. We're making sure that we're getting everybody familiar with the culture, building those relationships, building that community of learning uh, and really pulling this team together to try and make it tighter than ever, uh, which is tough to do because we've always had really tight teams, really good chemistry. Uh, but if we can take it to another level now, that would be even better. So on the pitch, uh, I have, you know, the past couple of seasons, guys have stepped up. Like last season, uh, you lost a bunch of goal scorers. Jake Goslin stepped up, scored a bunch of goals. You lose a defender like Bubba Fensterbush. Nathan Maynard becomes that force in the back line. Were you expecting more of the same guys just waiting for an opportunity? Uh, on, a, on still a young team, I think only three seniors again Correct. Yep. this year. But we're expecting guys to, to get in and, you know, next guy up, just keep going and, and keep improving. Yeah, I mean, there's several new guys that we've got our eyes on. Um, you know, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want anybody getting ahead of themselves. <laughs> um, but, you know, obviously we have returning guys that we, yeah. we've got big eyes on as well. We've got some sophomores that have really got some good experience under their belt and now stepping up to be juniors. Uh, so we're looking for that impact on the field from them as well as developing them to be leaders to take over from our current seniors. Um, you know, we've even got freshmen last year that now really have their feet wet and have, you know, more experience than a lot of freshmen often do so can they kick on can they develop as well but certainly there are freshmen coming in that we're excited about um, every single freshman to be honest we're excited about in one way or another whether it be an immediate impact on the field a good teammate good camaraderie good academics uh, and again good people and, and some of them are going to be um, impactful for us in a more long-term view so you know, we're, we're excited about everybody you know and it's about um, you know working and developing you know we talked about our core values as a program of passion, discipline, and ambition. And as a team, we kind of came up with, with team core values for this year as well, or team values, if you like. And the three simple things, it's, it's, it's to learn, enjoy, and develop. You know, if we can learn as much as people and players, that will put us into a good stand. You know, with everything going on right now, we've said, there's not a lot to enjoy. There's going to be a lot of difficulties, a lot of hoops to jump through, a lot of policies and procedures that we got to deal with. So, you know, we just got to take that on the chin and make sure that when we're together and when we're working, that we enjoy ourselves and we enjoy our work and enjoy the opportunities that, that we have right now that we might not have potentially had and then development is obviously the big thing you know we've got all this time to develop players develop people develop culture and develop the program so learn enjoy develop that's a big thing that we're getting across with these players nice. um you know over the last three months certainly and then certainly in the next three months as, as well and there is that still a potential of a, of a spring semester obviously in a shortened yep. season um yep. what what are you most excited about you know for the the that potential season um, as you guys would, you know, try to three Pete as, as PSAC champs certainly would love that opportunity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think whatever, whatever happens this spring, if we get playing, um, I think everything's going to have an asterisk by it. So, so yeah, you'd love to win a championship <laughs> or it's going to be a little bit different uh, and, and things like that as well. So uh, to be honest, I'm not trying to get too excited about the spring yeah. because we all know there are so many unknowns uh, and everything could just, just turn um, dramatically. So, you know, we're excited about the potential that we can get out there and play because ultimately that's what we want to do as a team, as a program. Um, as a university for every single um, sports team that's out there for a conference, for a division and, and for a country and for, uh, for, a, for, the, for the world. You know, everyone yeah. wants to be out there and doing the things that they enjoy. And we obviously enjoy playing soccer as a group. So, you know, the excitement is we've got the potential to 
do that. But we understand it is only potential right now. Uh, but we will work and we will put the effort in um, as much as we possibly can until you know every opportunity has been exhausted and finally somebody says we are not going to play. Uh, but until that point comes, we are working full fledged to go out there and do everything that we can this spring to continue the successes that we've had, even though it's going to be different. But again, I, I kind of like that as well. I, I like the differences right now. I'm being creative as a coach and doing everything yeah. new, uh, everything different, and uh, and that's exciting. I don't I don't like doing the same things over and over and over. I always look for little tweaks and differences we can do, whether it be with preseason or you know we obviously introduced the GPS trackers a couple of years uh -huh. ago. So always looking for little different things that we can do. Uh, this is great. We're doing a ton of different things. It's a different style of training with the small groups uh, and the restrictions that we've had. So so again, it's it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's back to what we talked about. And let's enjoy it. You know, there's no point moaning about it. Let's just enjoy the opportunity we have.